Now, to show you how many possibilities Time Macro has to offer, we'll take a look at all the 10 individual sections and their articulations. For the high strings, we recorded 10 violins on the left and 10 violins on the right side of the Teldex stage. The most basic articulations are the Seltasto and Sol Ponticello sustains, but even they have a subtle movement and evolving motion within them. You just heard the Collegno sustains. The dynamic layers here blend between a pure Collegno bowing, where the players use just the wood of the bow, and a Collegno tratto bowing, where the wood is used in combination with the hair of the bow. With the high saltasto, we recorded the top range of the instrument with a very soft and flautando bowing style for a feathery, fragile sound. We also did that with sustained harmonics, as you just heard. Now, let's move on to even more textural sounds. We have all kinds of sustains with random gestures by individual instruments.
In Metropolis Arc 2, we introduced those irregular fourth and fifth arpeggio textures where each of the violins performed at a random tempo. Those were very appreciated by our users, so we recorded a new version of them with Time Macro where they play so slow, the listener can really feel the deceleration. We also captured a pure noise sound of the strings, which the players produced by bowing directly on the bridge. The mid-strings consist of eight violas and eight celli. The articulations are very similar to those of the high strings, so let's take a quick listen to them.
the low strings, we recorded eight celli together with six basses. Time offers three different woodwind sections as well. The high woodwinds are four flutes and four clarinets separated in groups of two and placed left and right on the stage. For their lower range, some of them use their alto flutes or basset horns. We get a soft sustained patch as well as airy sustains and a soft flutter tongue sustained tone. Also, just like with the string sections, we get some sustained textures with random gestures.
heard those sustained notes with little sparse drops from the fifth above before on the strings. We recorded that for almost all the sections. Here, we also have the woodwinds playing fifth intervals up and down with a random tempo for each instrument. For the pendulum dynamics, we have two different kinds of echo swells. One alternates between flutes and clarinets, and the other one between the left and right group of both. The low woodwinds consist of four clarinets and four bass clarinets playing in octaves. They sit in one row behind the other woodwind sections. The double reed section is created with four oboes and four bassoons placed in a half circle around the deca tree. It has a large range, starting with the bassoons on the bottom and slowly blending in with English horns and into the oboes the higher you play.
Just like with the low woodwind section, we also have a very effective short crescendo patch here with the double reeds. In this case, two contrabassoons play together with two bassoons in octaves. The brass section of time uses four trumpets and four trombones. They're arranged in a single wide row way behind all the other sections, so they add another layer of depth if brought together with the strings and woodwinds of time. Before we get to the choirs, I'd like to show you a very special and unique section of time. We recorded two harps and two vibraphones sitting in a mirrored fashion around the Decca tree. They bring very delicate sparkling colors and detail to the table. We have two kinds of single notes. First, regular harp plucks with a very pure vibraphone sound, and secondly, harmonics on the harps together with soft vibraphone hits with activated motor. We also recorded some of the textural and rhythmic techniques we used for the other sections.
Now, let's move on to the last two sections. They are no less special and unique than the harps and vibes, and in fact, all the instrumental sections of time. We have a woman and men choir with 12 singers each. Both are standing in a single row half circle around the decatry. We recorded a couple of, again, long, evolving, sustained sounds, as well as some of the textural articulations you heard from the instrumental sections. We recorded exactly the same articulations with the men choir. On two of them, you can even hear one of the bass singers adding a profundo note an octave below the others.
As mentioned early in the video, Time uses the same recording setup as orchestral tools previous collections recorded at Teldex. That means we get access to a variety of microphone positions. Let's listen to some examples to get an idea about the scope of sounds possible with them. With this collection, a very special concept came to life. Beginning with the paradigm of time, its implications and source of inspiration, moving on to the selection of instruments, designing and placing them creatively on the scoring stage, through to inspiring articulations and textures delivered individually and combined, Time Macro is the perfect tool for underscoring, sound design, and all those moments where you need those special sounds standard orchestral samples are not designed to do. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have a good time.